all right good day good day everybody and welcome back to my channel so this is our nightly surreal tonight guys and so we do this every monday through friday i really appreciate you guys tuning in and if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap that notification bell so you can get all the uploads to this channel also if you like the content leave me a comment down in the description below all right so spirit what do we have to surrender tonight All right, so we are surrendering to inner peace tonight, okay? We are surrendering to inner peace, and we are cultivating inner peace on a daily basis. So whatever it is that you have to do to cultivate that peace, do it. Go off to a quiet spot, meditate, focus, you know, do something that's going to assist you in maintaining your peace and stand in your peace. So surrender to inner peace tonight, regardless of what's going on around, all right? There's so many things going on around in the world today. Okay, and we have to be prepared for all of this stuff. And the only way to really be prepared is to be in the sound mind and sound spirit. Okay, and so regardless to, you know, what bombs are blowing up around you, like what type of, you know, traumatic life events that are going on around you, spirit is saying, hey, I still need you to remain focused and I still need you to stay centered. So, surrender to inner peace tonight, guys. Oh, surrender your attachment to results, you know. And we've all been guilty of this. You know, you want to be successful. Everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants things to go great, you know. But surrender your attachment to the results. Like, allow all the things to happen, okay. Allow them to happen the way that they're going to happen. As long as you know that you did your due diligence in everything that you're doing right here, just allow it to happen. All right. Allow allow the divine to take over, you know, and allow and, and give it time for the seeds that you planted to sprout. OK, and then they'll eventually bloom. But oftentimes we'll try to manipulate the results of things, you know, and then when you try to manipulate the results of them, they don't turn out the way you expect them. You know, you might be working on something. And it was fine the way it was. We were like, oh, man, I noticed this was wrong. Let me go fix it. And then the, the person that you was trying to please no longer resonates with this thing you were working on because you're trying to you're trying to modify it. And that's kind of like how you, that's kind of like how sometimes we sabotage things. We're doing things and, you know, instead of just letting it unfold the way it's going to unfold, we try to you know add more add more add more or take away take away take away or make it all perfect or make it mirror something else and then we sabotage the results all right so surrender to your your surrender your attachments to the results surrender the drama man isn't there a lot of drama going on because people don't got nothing to do better than to be on social media so there's a lot of drama going on you know we get off in these comments and guess what somebody took us off hey you know, I've been guilty too. I've been petty a couple of times last week, you know, but I had to bring that back in. All right. So surrender to that drama. People trying to suck you into things that don't don't involve you. Right. They're calling you, talking to you about things that have nothing to do with you. And you're giving them that energy because you trying to be a good friend. No, they bring you into some drama. So surrender to the drama. OK, don't let them suck you in. Stay in your peace. And surrender to success. I believe the reason why this success card continues to pop out is because, you know, it's one of those times where you aren't sure if you're going to get that success or not. But guess what? You're going to get it. You're going to get that success. And it's going to happen for you. So the divine wants you to surrender to it. They want you to surrender to it because they want you to be certain that you know that it's possible for you. All right. So surrender to success. Know that you can have it. Know that you can obtain it regardless of what's going on. Remember, those bombs that are going off, it's not your battle. It's not your war. All right? That battle, that war has nothing to do with you. All right? So, yeah. This is actually a pretty prosperous time for you. Okay? Here, what else? What else? Mm. Oh, yeah. So, new beginnings. New beginnings. Some of you already done came into the new beginning, but a lot of y'all about to have these new beginnings. Listen, look at that. She's standing on top of the world, okay? 
It's this shit is happening. And and you looking down on the world like, dang, I can't believe I'm not affected by it. It's definitely a new beginning for you. New new <clears throat> territory, new uncharted territory that you're about to enter into. So amazing new beginnings. These decisions and choices that you're about to make, it's about to shift your your money. It's about to shift your finances. It's about to change your relationship. It's about to change your whole life. All right? So it's definitely about to be some shifts coming your way. But positive shifts in this new beginning. All right? Yes. All this hope. All this light. Okay? Spirit saying, be in light. All right? All this hope and all of this light is, is coming your way. Okay? Yes. Lots of changes, lots of prosperity here in this new beginning. This is a new beginning for everybody, okay? But for you, you that are listening, y'all about to make some movements and choices and shift into a direction that's going to either help or hurt your situation. But in this case, for for you guys, is to help. Some of them going to move in a direction that's going to hinder them because they're not going to go towards you know, they're in a peace and all of this stuff. They're going to continue to do all of these things the Spirit told them to surrender and they're not going to have that life that they wanted. And this card, I pulled this card. I don't know. The Spirit just said pull another one. So this one said choose your path. Like it's so many options. You got so many paths, right? So many things that you can be doing right now. Okay? You know, but look at him. He's still centered and grounded. You know? He's, he, he's making sure that the path that he's choose is divinely guided by spirit. Okay, so choose your path wisely. Choose your path wisely. Don't go down the same path. That's what spirit is saying. Don't keep going down the same path because it's comfortable. Choose your path wisely. Choose the path that I told you to choose. You can hear my voice. So choose the path. Alright? Spirit, what else do we have? What else do we have to it? Ooh. Alright, so I'm going to check out your spiritual path. Mm -mm -mm. Spirit, what do we have for spiritual path? Okay, so let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. Something going on. There's something going on. The only way you're going to fix this is if, if you walk away. That's that drama. This is some spiritually led drama too. This is some, this is this drama that's here. Not spiritually led, but this drama right here that you're going through. It's going to influence it's going to influence your uh spiritual your spiritual path. So the best thing to do is you walk away from that. Don't don't keep entertaining that. Cuz that right there is going to mess you all up. Alright, so it's telling you to walk away from this situation in order to resolve. Oh yeah, so y'all travelers, y'all gonna be doing some traveling. Don't let this coronavirus trick you. It's happening. As soon as this thing let up, y'all gonna be doing some traveling. Your life purpose involves traveling. Alright? You're gonna be doing a lot of traveling. You're gonna be a traveling healer. Okay? And lastly, this body work, I'm telling y'all, stretching, exercise, tattooing, something. Like y'all gonna be doing some therapy, healing people. Something with your hands, something with exercises, something with stretching. You're going you're gonna to heal people that way. You are going to heal people that way, okay? And I'm telling you, it's about to be lit. Y'all are like, man, I didn't even think I could do all this. Oh, yeah, you could do it all. Body work, spiritual path. So if you're into body work, hey, that's your life purpose. Sash therapy, Reiki, energy healing physical therapy, exercise, like whatever it is, it's your purpose. Spirit, what else? Clearing, counseling, delete. Parents. Ooh. Alright, so there's a lot of clearing here. Okay, so the divine said clear, counsel, and delete right here. Alright, so you got to use only positive thoughts, okay? You can rapidly manifest anything that you want, okay? So you need to cancel out any negative thinking. Any negative thinking that you got going on, cancel it out. Delete it. Clear it. You don't need it. Every time a negative thought arises, go ground yourself. You don't have to sit in a meditative position just to meditate. You can ground yourself and clear 
while you're moving. Just ground yourself. Clear that thing out. You don't want to keep thinking about the negative. Your parents, listen. This thing that's going on with you and your parents, you don't gotta you don't gotta be their best friend just to clear that energy. Divine saying you need to clear that energy because they did the best they could with you. To the best of their ability. They ain't know how to do everything that they need to do for you. They ain't know how to love you. They ain't know how to do none of that. You know? So this whole thing with your mom and your dad, you gonna have to clear that. Once you clear it, that's why the divine wants you to clear all this stuff because there's no way that you're gonna see your your true your fullest potential if this is not clear. You gotta heal from this. This is a root chakra, heart chakra issue. Alright? This is a root and heart chakra issue. So you need to work on balancing that. Clear yourself. Okay? This was upside down, so I'm gonna focus on a little, little bit more. You need to clear yourself of toxic energies. Alright? It's some toxic energies that you have absorbed. You've taken all this toxic energy in. You need to clear yourself of it because these folks done came over here and dumped all this energy off on you. I'm talking about friendships, relationships, all of that. They done dumped all this energy off on you and now you walking around jacked up and don't know why you jacked up. You jacked up because everybody used you as a dumpster. Don't the dumpster stink when you put all your trash in? When everybody in the community put their trash in the dumpster, don't it stink? When you put your trash in that green bin to put it out there for them people to come pick it up, don't it stink? So imagine if everybody come and throwing their junk on you. It's going to mess you up. And you're going to be feeling real funky, right? So go and clear that stuff up. Clear that toxic energy up. Ask spirit to release you of all that. You know? I tell y'all, people dump stuff off on me all the time. I'm real quick to go pull out a 30, 40 minute to an hour meditation service session on, on anybody. I'm like, all right, I can't talk to you right now because I'm about to meditate. You know? Hey, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Like, hey, player, I feel you. But can't talk right now. I'll put a price tag on it. People want to talk to y'all for all that time? Put a price tag on it. See how much they really uh, care about their problems. Do they really care about fixing their problems or they just want to... Uh, complain about it so don't let them just come throw their trash on you <laughs> clear yourself all right spirit let me get a soul to soul message for the ones watching what message do you have for the soul now, this could be a soul message for the past life the present the present soul or the future soul this could be directly to your soul or to the soul make all right one two three resonate with me all right that means you choose one, two, or three, or you choose whatever resonates with you. Okay. So please listen to the advice being given to you. Hello, somebody. <laughs> y'all, spirit not playing with y'all tonight. They said, please listen to this advice. Look, please share this with y'all friends, because it's funny. They're going to be tripped out about this. All right. Last lifetime, we promised each other we'd get it right this time. Uh-huh. So last lifetime, you and this person you with, y'all supposed to get this thing right, and y'all did not get it right. But that's okay. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you'll just get it right. If they get it right, hey, that's fine. If they don't get it right, hey, that's fine too. As long as you get it right, so you don't, you don't repeat that, that bad karma. All right. But last life, lifetime, you promise, y'all promised each other that y'all was gonna get that thing right. Your soul was like, look, we was supposed to do this thing right. Here we go again. Now what we do? Hmm. Okay. Go on get it right this time. Alright, so now this key this card keep like this is this card I've seen this a lot. It's not until you are able to release the fear of losing me that I will return. Okay. So listen, once you ain't scared to lose somebody no more, this person gonna return. So for some of you that's looking for this relationship to come back. They ain't gonna come back until you release the fear of losing them. You know why? Because now they like, oh dang, this person don't need me no more. And because they feel like you don't need them no more, then they want you back. That's how it always works. You probably don't move on by then though. Probably be too late by then. Hey. Look. Don't don't fear to lose nobody. If they ain't in direct so the in, in direct alignment with your soul purpose, I wouldn't be afraid to lose them. Side Nara. That's how y'all gotta be. All right, spirit, what we got? One, two. All right, so number one, don't take anything personally. 
become immune to poison. Okay, here we go with this poison again. So, got the whole world gossiping again. All right, gossiping about you, and if they and, and if you don't take it personally, you you are immune to it. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. All right, so listen. Just become immune to poison. Look, they talk about whatever they want to talk about. That's their perception of you. Okay? It's not the, your reality. It's not relative to what you got going on. So, just become immune to it. Let they let them butts talk. You ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Alright? Next, always do your best. Alright? So, always do your best. Practice makes the master. Okay? That's what I do. I try to practice. You know how they say practice make perfect. I be trying my best to, you know, just... Get better and get better. So by doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transformation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your words, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. So the, the more you practice like saying good things and the more you work on your transformation and the word the more you work on your your reactions and your interactions and the things that you say, over time you're gonna become better at it. All right, so practice makes perfect. Practice makes the master. You know, you ever had those times where you somebody cussing you out and and they going they doing all that rah rah and boom boom blah or however they said, and then you just be like, okay, well have a nice day, and they don't know how to take it. They be like, oh, I just gave this person the business and all they said was have a nice day. Or have you ever done that? Have you ever seen yourself cutting the fool, and then somebody said, okay. Peace, love. And you like, oh no, that person didn't acknowledge what I got going on. No, they acknowledged you, but they didn't. They didn't want to get. They 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 had mastered. All right, they had mastered. You know the use of their words. They knew that whatever you was mad about, it couldn't have been them. Okay, so that's how you gotta be. You can't be taking out your historical problems, your your sacral problems out on other people so it's best to become the master of that so that's it y'all listen this is a great message i don't even think i gotta reiterate this message but tonight we just gonna surrender to our inner peace surrender to our attachments to the results surrender to drama and surrender to success okay because once we do all that then we'll start noticing this new beginning is coming and we're gonna be able to shift focus a little bit our, in, our finances is going to elevate. Our relationship is going to elevate. Like Things just going to start shifting based off of the good good choices we make. But it's up to us to make good or bad choices. If we make bad choices, then we'll know. Because life will just start having that turbulence again. Because, uh-oh, you didn't learn that lesson. But if you make the right decision and you stay grounded and you stay centered like this guy did right here, then you'll see the abundance. You'll be able to see everything unfold that's supposed to happen. All right? Spirit is saying, let go. This situation right here, whatever's going on right here, it's not a really big situation, but it can affect you immensely. But Spirit is saying, the only way to get through that is to let that thing go. Y'all got some traveling, some body work going on. Y'all got to clear cancel and delete this toxic energy, this negative energy. You need to clear yourself. Whatever's going on with you and your parents, listen, love them. You ain't got to be their friend. Just love them in a way. Forgive them when you're doing your root work. All right? Um... Uh -huh. Listen to the advice of spirit because that's what they want you to do. Go ahead and get it right this time with your with your soul messages and everything. Just go ahead and just work on getting that thing right. And release the fear of losing that person. Because if that person desires you the way that you desire them, guess what? They'll be back. If not, oh well. Alright, as long as you get right with your soul. And the last little bit is, okay, don't take anything personally and become the master. Alright, so I hope you guys like the content on this page. If you do, leave me a comment and I'll talk to y'all later.